Praise the Lord. This is Reverend Essie, and today is March 12th, 2012. Um, I call it my Jeremiah 33-3 day. <laughs> uh, you know, Jeremiah 33-3 says, Ask, and, and uh, let's see if I won't show you great and mighty things, saith the Lord of hosts. Um, 12, uh, today's March 3, the third month, and then March 12th, the 1 plus the 2 is 3. And then 2012, I take the last two. One plus two is three, so I call my three, three, three day. Hey, I don't know, just me. Hey, I hope you've been blessed. Hope you've been enjoying your life. I hope you've been ignoring the ignorant. There's something I want to talk to you about today, real quick. I've been trying out something. It was long and tedious, but I tried out something, and I found it to be true that the enemy zooms in on your weaknesses. Uh, you know, in 1 Peter chapter 4, uh, it, it, God tells us, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And it goes on to say, if you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Amen. People speak evil about God. There's so much going around this world about the Lord. If you notice, they have uh, something on TV called GCB. It started out as Good Christian BITs, and now they try to change it to Good Christian Bells because people are complaining about it. And It's an attack on Christianity all around the world. And people can act like there's more of this and more of that all they want to. I said, but, but you know, I feel that, you know, I told somebody... They can act like that all they want to, but there's more Christians than anything in this whole wide world. Nobody's going to get me to change my mind. I've talked to Muslims. I've talked to Hindus. I've talked to people all over the world. Online, I've been online since 2003, and I've ministered to a lot of people who said, we don't want to tell anybody, but we love God. We love G We want Jesus. You'd be surprised at the people who call themselves being one thing, but there's something else. And there is an attack on Christianity. Um, that's why we can't take it personal. You know, people who attack me on, on all these you know, social networks, you know, forgive me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not big word or whatever. But um, the people who attack, it's not personal. They're not attacking Reverend Essie because Reverend Essie's all that in a bag of chips. They're attacking Jesus. That's why I, you, I can't take it personal. I tried something. I'm not going to say how long I tried it and, you know, and, you know, I, I was dumb as a fox, put it that way. You know, I learned that from a man years ago, uh, the head of the Highland Erie Committee of Washington, PA, uh, Mr. Fred Fleet. He's an elder gentleman, and he was intelligent, and I sat under him. I became the president of the Highland Erie Committee years later as well because I learned from him. And Mr. Fleet used to always say, "Be," he said, be wise as a fox. Amen. So for, for quite a while, I've been trying things. I've been, I guess you can say, uh, the honey that attracts the flies, so to speak, whatever. Um, I, I uh, bees, flies, whatever. I, um, I found out that the enemy waits until you are at your weakest moment, or what he thinks is your weakest moment, and he attacks that. It's it's like it, it, the enemy, the accuser of the brethren, as it says in Revelation twelve ten. He's in Satan is the accuser of the brethren. He finds people with open windows and open doors, and he uses them. It's not them. They think they're all that in a bag of chips. They think they're doing something. They think they're aggravating you, and what they don't realize is they're being used by the enemy. They're gonna burn in hell for it, unless they repent and accept Jesus Christ as their savior and apologize to the Lord for trying to aggravate him and his. They're going to burn in hell for it. So, you know, what, what they do, what the enemy does is he waits until he thinks you're down as far as you can go, and then he kicks you. I did something a couple days ago, and I did it on purpose. 
the Lord knew what I was doing, you know, just like the, our great leaders in the Bible, you know, they, they did things and consulted with the Lord first, let him know what was up, you know, but I, I did something and I, I, I got down, I'll say got down <laughs> to my lowest, depressed, tired, upset state. And as soon as I did it, the enemy attacked me. And, and I said, this is exactly how he does it. And, and they think, it's the kind of thing where the enemy doesn't have pity on you because you're feeling bad at the time. In fact, the enemy uses that as a stepping stool to their next plan against you. So I just wanted to let you guys know, you guys that love the Lord with all your heart and soul, those that are trying, all of you, you know, my friends, family, um, the people I don't even know who might be watching this video, don't get weak. Everything you do, do it as unto the Lord. When you need his help, ask him. Try not to get down too low because the enemy uses that. Something just went through my mind just now. Do you remember years ago? They probably still say it. Old people, I was raised with old people. You hear me saying that a lot. I was an orphan and I was raised with a lot of old people. I lived in a lot of families. But um, old people always say, what is it? Don't, don't wear down your resolution. What is it? When people would get colds. Or when they would get sick, you guys probably know the word I'm trying to say. They say, don't wear, what is it? Don't wear down your um, resolution or something. It's it's a point in, in your life where you're so, you're so tired and you're so worn that every single bug and virus that comes by, you get it. Not res The word's not resolution. I can't think of what it is now. But you guys probably know what I'm saying. I hope you know what I'm saying. You, 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 you don't, don't make yourself so weak and so tired that anything that comes by can affect you. Just like Peter says here, beloved, you know, don't get upset. Don't get nervous. You know, don't show emotion unless it's God's joy. If you're not feeling God's joy at the time, shut up. Keep your mouth shut. Don't say nothing. I'm telling you because the enemy's going to play. Play against it. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. I'm serious. The things that I went through in this little trial that I was purposely going through, they really thought they were trying me. I noticed that. And Satan sends them. You know, it's not good to play like that. You know, but I, ha I just had to see. And it's true. You know, they're not, oh, well, you know, let's feel sorry for Reverend Essie because she's not feeling good now. Let's feel sorry for Carol because she's not feeling good now. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, let's just need keep her in prayer. No, they no, they ain't keeping nobody in prayer. First of all, they ain't praying. And they care less. When they see you cry, they want to see more tears. You know, they're shooting at your feet telling you, dance, dance. They don't care. They don't care if you feel bad. Concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you it's not strange and oh and and for you people that i talked to on youtube what y yesterday or whatever a couple last couple days yeah there's some people who are new on youtube they're not used to that trolling thing or whatever i don't know i don't get into that stuff i couldn't tell all i know is they aggravate people they try to aggravate people but when somebody's bothering you or when they think they're bothering you they just show up just to let you know they're watching <laughs> So, you know, hi, but when they do that kind of stuff to you, block them. Seriously, don't, don't fight with the devil. You think you're fighting people and you think you're going to win. Don't tassel with the devil. Block them and keep on stepping. And if they come back in another phase, if that spirit comes back, we'll call it that, if that spirit comes back in another form, another face, another title, another name, block him again. Block, 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 block. Like my friend, Aaron, Aaron Gladman uh, on YouTube, he made this awesome song. I'm in it. I'm in this video. And it's called Block, Delete. Yeah, Block, Delete. And it's nice. The brother can make some nice videos. <laughs> you know, I think it was by 
glad man. I haven't been on his in his on his um, channel for a while, a couple about a month or two. He goes by Glad Man. Just look for Aaron Glad Man. Amen. Um and 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 look for block delete. Don't argue with the devil. So just had to let you know how everything turned out. And yes, the enemy plays on your weaknesses. So be bold, be strong, for the Lord thy God is with thee. God bless you, God keep you, and make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious unto you, and give you shalom, my friend. Amen.